educating, empowering, and inspiring you to live healthier is our mission. So let's begin. Hey, health warriors, this is episode number 76 of the Life, Strength and Health podcast. I'm Kim here and thank you for tuning in for this week's episode. Last episode, episode number 74, Jamal and I discussed the importance of seasonal detoxing. Uh, we went into the importance of it and we covered the uh, different characteristics of the cleanses that you should do for each Season, We gave some suggestions as to what the foods you should consume, herbs. You may want to take the organs that you should focus on during each season. So if you haven't had a chance to tune into the episode, just go to lifestrengthandhealth.com forward slash seven five to access that episode. And this episode, we are going to be diving into the power of belief. And this is so important when you would like to achieve your health goals, when you're striving to achieve your health goals. So we're going to be discussing that in this episode. But before we dive in, um, I just want to let you know that this episode is sponsored by HealthWarrior.co. HealthWarrior.co is our private health community that is geared towards helping you to live a more natural and holistic lifestyle. And we also help you to address health imbalances, taking a holistic approach. And becoming a member, you gain access to our health library, where we have various health choruses and they're updated on a continual basis. You gain access to our food library. A lot of people, when they want to improve their health or change their lifestyle, are very overwhelmed or struggle with the foods to eat. So we have a food library that has recipes and the ingredients are all geared towards living a more natural and holistic lifestyle and help to simplify that process. As a member, you also gain access to our monthly live trainings. You receive member discounts on health products and programs and services at Life, Strength and Health, whether you are coming in the office or you work with us virtually and so much more. So to learn more about our private health community or to join us, just go to healthwarrior.co. So now let's segue to our organic food for thought. And this week's organic food for thought, uh, we're going to be discussing the benefits of clove. Cloves are one of the spices indigenous to Asian countries like Indonesia, India and Pakistan and also areas of East Africa. And cloves are very properly used as a flavoring agent in a variety of ways across the world. Clove has been used for thousands of years and not only as a spice condiment, but also as a medicine for many ailments. And some health benefits of clove is that it's good for toothaches. Um, it's good for nausea and vomiting, uh, coughing and bad breath. You can, like I mentioned earlier, you can use it for seasoning. It's great for morning sickness, flatulence or gas. Um, it's good for colds, stress. It's a good and excellent source of antioxidants. It has the highest antioxidants of all the essential oils. And also it's good for rashes, cuts and wounds. And this is just a name of few of the health benefits of clove and clove. It comes in a whole or powdered form and also as an essential oil. So you can use it in those three forms and to store clove. You want to keep it in an airtight glass or plastic container. Um, whether if, if it's in the whole or powdered form, you want to keep it in that. And the whole bud should be kept in a cool dark and dry place. So it'll be very beneficial to incorporate clove into your diet and into your life. So now let's dive into today's episode all on the power of belief. And when we talk about the power of belief, that this is all about the mindset of health success. And, you know, the mindset is like, I like to call it the unseen force. It's that missing link uh, for a lot of people when they're trying to achieve their health goals. I like to call it the secret ingredient for health success. And it's not spoken about enough. You know, belief is so important. It's that driving factor behind your actions. And in episode number 74, uh, the title of the episode was taking responsibility for your health. Thank you for everyone that listened to it. I got a lot of great feedback in that episode, I talked about habits and how taking 
Consistent small action on a daily basis can develop eventually uh, snowball into positive habits. But those habits, taking that action is fueled by your belief. It's fueled by the belief in yourself. It's fueled by the belief that it's possible and it's fueled by the belief that you deserve to achieve your health goals. So when you talk about belief, this is something that has to be developed and built on a continuous basis. And in this episode, we're going to touch on ways to develop and build your belief. OK, now there is a psychology concept called expectancy theory. And with this theory, it's the idea that we respond to events in our life based on what our brains expects to happen. And this is learned from our prior life experiences, right? So in other words, people usually decide to behave in a certain way based on their expected results, right? And this could be a great thing or it could be detrimental. The trouble in this for some people is that when we let negative prior experiences and lack of self-confidence control our decisions, When this happens, we act in a certain way and we get negative outcomes, right? But to combat this and to to move in a more positive light when it comes to the expectancy theory, you know, what if we held positive expectations in our mind? And by doing that, it would make it just a little bit easier for us to achieve our health goals or it can make it easier for us to achieve our health goals, right? Because when it comes to belief, there's no set it and forget it, right? Our belief, our belief system, our belief in ourself, our thoughts, it has to be fed and nurtured on a daily basis. You know, unfortunately, we are bombarded with negativity. Uh, We're bombarded with poor food choices everywhere you look. You know, a a fast food restaurant or uh, unhealthy food is more accessible than maybe um, healthy foods. Right. So we're bombarded with poor food choices. We're bombarded with poor lifestyle habits. So many people we know are burning from both ends and not taking care of themselves. That's the norm. And for people who put that quality time into themselves, that's not normal. So it's important to continually feed our beliefs. Beliefs, beliefs that you can reach your health goals, belief that you deserve it, you know, and belief that it's possible for you. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to list a few things that will help to feed and nurture the belief in yourself on a daily basis. And the first thing that I recommend is to understand that your health journey, that it will not be easy but it will be worth it, okay? You know, there will be challenges. It may seem like it's never the right time to start or you may stumble out of the gate and start your program and maybe fall off. You know, you may be overwhelmed or frustrated. You know, a lot of our clients, you get a little overwhelmed with how do I eat? What do I eat? How do I make certain things? Or they may get overwhelmed with learning new ingredients, okay? But just keep going Anyway, in spite of all the obstacles, keep going. Don't beat yourself up. You started. Starting is half the battle. So many people say, I'm going to, I should, but never take that first step. Commend yourself. You know, if you've taken that step or say, I'm going to take that step tomorrow, no matter how difficult it may seem right now in my life, I deserve to prioritize myself and I'm going to get started on me. Okay. It's okay to be selfish at times as mothers, as Anyone deserves to prioritize their health and well-being. That is so crucial to living a happy life when you feel and look your best. It's so important. So just keep going anyway if you started because you can always course correct along the way. The most important thing is to take action. The second thing that I suggest in terms of feeding and nurturing your belief is consuming empowering health information on a consistent basis. Listening to this podcast that that qualifies, right? Staying in the energy of health, reading or listening to inspiring health stories. That was so helpful for me. Connect with health communities. Our tribe, we're called Health Warriors and we're there supporting one another. You know, that is so very important. Align yourselves 
with a health community that's on the same path as you. It helps so much. Do not isolate yourself. Stay immersed in the energy of health. It may seem like you're going overboard, but you're creating new habits and a lifestyle. So you're going to have to put some work in it. There's so much health information on the internet and books and so on and so forth that people make it look it's like it's so easy to just change your lifestyle. But sometimes you have to put some work in. You have to kind of do some rewiring in your mind and some uh, changing some habits and and creating new ones. So staying immersed in the health and energy, it helps. It helps to build your belief. And I know for me, when I would see different success stories of people's health journeys, I, I built my belief to say if, if they can do it, I certainly can do it. So it's important to, you know, Just consume that health information, stay immersed in that energy on a consistent basis. The next thing I recommend in terms of feeding and nurturing your belief is aligning yourself with successful people. It doesn't matter what industry the person is or the people are in. Okay, and this can be done in person or you can align yourself with them virtually. They could be the friend in your head. Okay, because when you align yourself with successful people, you'll start to see that successful people, they leave clues. Successful people, they have a certain energy about them, right? They're vibrating at a certain frequency. And this can be contagious and inspiring. You know, listen to their stories of how they're overcame, of how how they think, how do they respond to adversity, Right. That's so important because when you you start listening and reading about various successful people, you'll see some common denominators and you see that they had a belief in themselves. But that belief was built by certain actions. And when you consistently hear their stories, when you consistently I, I listen to a lot of people daily, whether I'm working out, cooking, driving in the car, you know, so or is listening to them, too. I'm always listening to some successful person, whether they're an entrepreneur, a thought leader, someone in the health industry. I love to immerse myself in stories of successful people. They are the friends in my head. And I feel feel that I'm empowered after I listen to them each and every time. And it's important to surround yourself in that type of vibration. Also, successful people, you will constantly hear that they have a mentor or a coach because they know if you want to collapse time frames, you can certainly figure things out. But when your time is limited, you want to shortcut that. You want to not have to make 20 million mistakes. And sometimes when you have someone with a different viewpoint of what you would like to accomplish, they can help you, you know, to get to your goals faster and help you course correct along the way. So you can avoid a lot of the common mistakes that people make, especially with health. So many people come into the office and they mean well, but maybe the program that they're doing isn't well suited for where they're at. Maybe their bodies need a different approach to reach their health goals. So sometimes people come in and they're saying, I'm doing this diet or I'm, you know, taking these products, but I'm getting an adverse effect. And then we explain to them the reason why. So receiving that mentorship and coaching certainly helps when you're on your health journey. But one thing uh, I always suggest is when you're listening to these uh, success stories from people, make sure not to compare yourself because that's their journey and you're on your own journey. But just use it as a source of inspiration and empowerment that you can see success as well, because if they can do it, you certainly can do it. The last uh, suggestion I would like to make in terms of feeding and nurturing your belief is to get clear, to have clarity on why do you want to improve your health? What do you want to accomplish? How does it look when you reach your health goals? How do you feel? These are so important to really know why you're doing what you're doing. Because if you have a general approach, I just want to be healthy. I just want to lose weight. Though That's certainly their valid points. But when it gets difficult, or it, you get a little frustrated when your why is not, when you're not in tune with your why, or you really don't know what your why is, it's so easy to fall off. It's so easy to say, you know what, this is not for me, or 
I this doesn't work for me this way or uh, I'm going to get to this later. But when you're in tune with your why, that will fuel your belief. Because when you know why you're doing what you're doing, when you are so in tune with it, when you that's all you think about is why you're doing something like when it's ingrained in your core, you will go through hell or high water to get it done. When you know your why, that why fuels your belief. When it's a general reason, then you, you know, you're not going to persevere. You're not going to push through. But when you really are in tune with that why, when you are clear, it will certainly help to fuel your belief and fuel your discipline and perseverance. Some other things, when you want to get clarity, what steps can you track to make sure you're staying the course when you're, you know, working towards a health goal? Because you also want to do some tracking. You want to see what I'm implementing. Is this beneficial? Can I see some results? And results could be small or large, but you want to keep tracking your course. That helps with being clear in your clarity. What do you do when you fall off course? That's when, you know, working with a health coach or a health practitioner, that is where that is very beneficial because you're not alone and there's someone there to say, okay, let's get back on. Let's tweak a little bit. Okay, that doesn't work for you. We can do it this way. You have to have some things in mind like, okay, when I fall off, what am I going to do? Visualization and meditation are two very powerful things that can be utilized and it's free of charge, right? To get clarity on why you want to improve your health, seeing the results, really getting in tune with yourself and, and that power from within to know that you can do it. So visualization and meditation are also very powerful. Journaling is something that I recently got back into this past year or this year, I should say, um, journal your thoughts. You know, sometimes negative thoughts may come up and it's good to get them out and release it. So writing it down on your journal, um, getting it out of your mind is very uh, beneficial as well. And also journaling about the results that you would like to see. Stating that daily, your health goals, that is very beneficial and powerful as well. And I cannot say this enough, mentorship and coaching, so powerful. I know me personally, I had a built-in uh, health coach when Jamal and I first became friends friends and I was on my health journey. But even in terms of personal training and health, I didn't I did some research. I, I read tons of health books, but there's nothing like having that person along with you who can kind of give you a bird's eye view of what's going on and where you need to go and explaining it to you and just taking a lot of the guesswork out. You know, that is so powerful as well. And the last thing is reflection and awareness. And I mentioned this briefly a little bit with the journaling, you know, really not trying to cover up how you feel, you know, you'd certainly want to address certain thoughts and feelings and doubts and fears that you have and maybe see where these things stem from. That's why meditation, I think, is so powerful because our subconscious mind is what really controls us. Right. That's where our belief lies. It's it's those thoughts that are going on in our mind that we really don't know. We can say that we believe, but our actions really show if we believe. So that reflects and awareness of our thoughts is so powerful, not from a place of judgment, but just understanding what is. And these suggestions that I mentioned in this podcast can help to feed and nurture that belief because, you know, as I touched on that expectancy theory, it's what do you expect from yourself? And what is your point of reference? Is a failure, lack of self-confidence, is lack your point of reference or is empowerment your point of reference. You know, that belief is so powerful. It's important for us to continue to feed and nurture our belief systems so that we can expect greatness from ourselves. And before I go, I just want to leave you with a quote. Also, this can be used as an affirmation. And it says, I am choosing every day to believe that I am worthy and deserving of success, no matter my age or my circumstances. I am choosing every day to believe that I am worthy and deserving of success, no matter my age or 
my circumstances. And if you feel like that's beneficial, please use it. Write that in your journal every day. Put that on your bathroom mirror every day. Empower yourself because you are powerful. You can achieve your health goals and you can achieve health success. So thank you for listening to this week's episode. For access to the show notes pages, just go to lifestrengthandhealth.com forward slash seven six. That's lifestrengthandhealth.com forward slash seven six. Stay tuned for next week's episode. And until next time, live healthier. We want to say thank you for listening to the show and for access to the show notes pages, more podcast episodes, blog content, as well as more information about our center, Life Strength and Health, then just visit us at lifestrengthandhealth.com. Until next time, live healthier.